7.5 Solving Problems with Equations This is on page 406 of the Pearson textbook Equations are useful ways to solve everyday problems and up until this point in the chapter we've been given equations that we've had to solve In this part of the chapter we need to actually make up our own equation and then solve it So let's have a look at work example 13 Phil has 70 cents he buys a pair and has 25 cents left over. If x represents the cost of a pair in cents, form an equation and solve it to find the cost of a pair. So what we actually need to find out is the cost of the pair. All right, first thing we've got to do is work out what our variable is going to be. Now the question tells us that x is the cost of a pair. That's our variable. All right, we know that we bought a pair and we had 25 cents left over and we started with 70 cents. So we're buying a pair and we've got 25 cents left over out of 70 cents that we started with. Now we've got our equation. All right, we need to solve this. Okay, I want X on his own. I want to get rid of this part here get it over that side is another way of thinking about it this is a plus 25 write that down if I subtract 25 they will equal 0 and leave me with x on its own notice when I wrote that I moved out a little bit further to make space for this minus 25 that I wrote in here this side I've got 70 and I'm going to subtract 25 because if I subtract 25 from both sides it still remains equal Okay, on the left hand side I'm left with x, on the right hand side I've got 70 minus 25 which is 45. Now that's not my final answer because we need the cost of a pair and cost is usually measured in something, either dollars or cents. Everything so far has dealt with cents, so 45 cents was the cost of a pair. Now I can check this by putting it back into my equation. I know that x is 45, so it should satisfy this equation. 45 plus 25 should equal 70. And if I add those two together, they do equal 70, so I know it's right. The essential bit here is this working out here that I've done in the black ink. Okay. Next one. Worked example 14. Erica has bought two movie tickets and one bucket of popcorn for a total of $21. If the popcorn costs $5, how much does one movie ticket cost? Using T as the cost of a movie ticket, form an equation and solve it to find the value of T. And we're assuming that both tickets are the same price. Okay, so I've got my variable, which is T. T is my cost of the ticket. Now I know that I'm starting with $21 because that's how much I've bought it all for. I know that I'm buying two movie tickets and popcorn. Now T is the cost of my movie ticket so I'll start with him. Now we bought two movie tickets. So we write that mathematically as 2T which means 2 times T. And we bought the popcorn so we've got to add on the cost of our popcorn. And it says the popcorn was $5. Alright, so everything's in dollars so far. And that cost me a total of, we bought all these things for $21. 2t plus 5 equals 21. So we've written this words into an algebraic equation in more of a mathematical form. Okay, now we've got to solve it. When we solve these sorts of questions, we go through a certain sequence. We deal with this number here on the end first, then we deal with the 2, and that will leave us with t on its own on this side, on the left hand side, and all the numbers will be over here on the right hand side. So I'm going to deal with the 5 first. Right, 2t plus 5, subtract 5, because that's the inverse operation, the opposite of plus is minus, 5 minus 5 is 0. And I'm trying to eliminate it from this side. And I do the same thing to both sides to keep it balanced. 
All right, so on this left-hand side, I'm left with 2t equals 16. Okay, now I'm going to deal with the 2. The 2 is on the t there, it's 2 times t. We refer to that as the coefficient. So I'm dealing with the coefficient. So I need to get rid of my 2. I'll divide by 2, because 2 divided by 2 is just 1, which leaves me with just 1t. Another way to think about that is, I'll just cancel out from the top and bottom of the fraction there. If I said divide him by 2, I've got to divide him by 2. Therefore, t equals 8. Now, that's not my final answer because I've been dealing in dollars. t is $8. Once again, if I want to, I can go back and, um, and, and, and check this result. My original equation was 2t plus 5 equals 21. I know that t is 8, 2 times 8 plus 5 equals 21, 2 times 8 is 16 plus 5 equals 21, add 16 and 5 together, and you can see it equals each other, so therefore I know that I'm right. Okay, notice how I'm setting my work out here keeping all my equal signs in a relatively straight line, trying to keep it nice and neat like that. The length of what I'm writing on each side may vary, get shorter and change, but my equal signs are still there in the middle. Now this bit here is just the checking that I've got the right answer. This black bit here is my actual working out. I had to do my equation first, start to eliminate all my other factors until I just end up with just the t on one side and the numbers on the other side. So 1t is 8, I know that the T is the cost of a ticket, so a ticket is $8.